Is uphill defense worth it? What's up, Saviors GH here? Today, I'm gonna answer the question, is uphill defense worth it? This has been asked so many times by my subscribers, but the answer is not that simple. Anyway, in this video, I'm gonna try my best to answer that. And with that said, let's do this. Okay, uphill defense. It's a content in the game that we can do four times a week and we can get to the uphill defense location by going to Salas and approaching this NPC. And just saying guys, do not do uphill defense if it's not a very hard mode because you will be just wasting your time. Now, on very hard, we can do it in about 10 minutes, 8 min 10 minutes. Let's just say 10 minutes. We can do it four times a week. That means about 40 minutes. But of course, everyone in the party gotta buff up, buy potions, and do stuff to get ready for uphill defense. So let's just say a full four uphill defense run is about an hour. And one uphill defense gives about 10k mercenary badges. So times four, that's 40k mercenary badges. We get that much in an hour of uphill defense. If we get lucky, we get other stuff like arc stone fragments, but don't expect that because you will be disappointed. Just expect the sure rewards we can get like the 40k mercenary badges. And by the way, there's a token that makes 4 runs faster. So if you see someone recruiting with a token, go join it ASAP because that will make uphill worth it. Now, to answer the question, is uphill defense worth it? We need to look at the mercenary bad shop. And remember, an hour of 4 uphill runs is about 40k of mercenary badges. Let's look at the shop. Now, looking at the first two items which is cards, and only one of them is kinda nice. And it's this May card which gives 10 crit rate if the card is level 10. And that card costs 30k of mercenary badges. And looking at the marketplace, it's about 10 million. So my question to you right now is... Is about an hour of your time worth 10 million silver? Now, your answer will determine that if it's worth it. For me, yes. Because right now, that May card is 10 million. But after a few months, that card will cost more. And I predict it's going to be about 20 to 30 million in the next 6 months. So if you can wait, just save it up and set it later. But of course, everyone don't have that kind of time. But I do. So for me... I'm interested in that card and it's worth it for me. Now, there are cases that those two cards available are crap ones because they change it once in a while. So if those cards are crap, let's look at the next few items. First we can see is this old legend enhancement card. This one is not worth it. It's cheap. Just buy it in the marketplace. It's about 5 to 6 million. Next item is this silver icor extraction kit. It's not worth it. Next is a level 10 enhancement card. It costs 3,500 mercenary badges. And if we look at the marketplace, getting a level 10 card will cost you about 2.5 million, give or take. And assuming you need this, a lot of it, 40k will get you about 11 pieces of level 10 enhancement card. And if you bought all that in the marketplace, that will cost you about 27.5 million. So in this case, if you need level 10 enhancement card, that will save you a lot of money and it will surely make an hour of weekly uphill defense worth it. But you don't really need that much of a level 10 enhancement card and there will be a time that it's going to be a useless item to you. Like for me, I already have the cards that I want and I don't need it. So for me, that item is not worth it. Next is the Medal of Honor, Boruta. This is not worth it. Just get it some other place. Same for the 7 star gem abrasive, it's not worth it. Even this assister album, just get it in the assister dungeon. And this premium awakening stone, it's not worth it, so as this repair. And here we are, challenge mode voucher. Okay, first of all, like it or not, challenge mode is a good source of silver. And that makes this challenge mode voucher worth it. Running uphill to get these vouchers is worth it. I always stack them up and use them when I get a fast challenge mode run. Next item is the Dimensional Collapse Voucher. This one is worth it. This is the item in the Mercenary Badge Shop that you will always get, always get one daily. Same goes for this Division Singularity Voucher. Get it daily. 
The next item is this Legend Enchant Jewel. This one is about 4 million in the marketplace right now and obviously it's not worth it. Next item is the card album. If you have a guild, this one could be worth it but for a solo player, this isn't. And then the Lesser Panda box. Now this one, if you're going for the buffs, it's not worth it. But if you like a red panda following you around, that could be worth it. Only you can answer that. One thing I can say for sure is it's not worth it if what you're interested in is the crit buffs. It's barely a buff. Now, those blue potions, just buy it in the marketplace. It's cheap over there. Now, this red one, if you're a new player, you could use this. It will help you heal up in challenge mode. Now, these attribute points, don't buy this. This is an insult to everyone in the game. Just remove this IMC. And then, these accessories. If you're new, the only accessory set worth getting here is the Karna Safety set. It's for healers. This necklace and this bracelet, those are the only accessories here that is worth taking. Next are the fashion. Even if you're a hardcore fashionista, don't get it here. Just use the marketplace. Second to the last is this Kedoran box. So is this worth it? No, it's not worth it. I've been using this for the last few months and I don't get anything good in here. Do not buy this box. Last is this Galimibe Armors. If you don't have a decent fixed eye core, this one could be very useful for you. Get it if you need it. In summary, doing an hour of uphill defense every week is worth it because there will be a time that the two main cards in the mercenary bad shop is gonna be good and you will need some of the other items. And if what you wanna hear is the value of 40k mercenary badge in silver, I would say it's around 10 to 25 million depending on the time, items on the shop, and on you. What do you need? And that's it guys, I hope that answers that frequently asked question. And if it did, hit the like button, then share to help us in the YouTube algorithm, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.